Hey everybody, it's Jesse. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Um, it's been nice here in the upper 60s, but overcast all day. Uh, the sun's not really uh, peeped his head out at all, uh, but we have still been able to in enjoy ourselves what time we've been outside. We're expecting some rain in the next few days. In fact, uh, parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas are expected to get some really nasty weather tomorrow. Um, we're kind of in a, an area where they're saying it's not a, as high of a chance, but our weather uh, weatherman is saying he wouldn't rule it out. And then uh, parts of the area that I'm from are actually have a chance of getting a little bit of wintry weather on Friday. We're not under that. Um, but it just goes to show you this time of year, you really can't uh, count out any nasty weather happening um, you know, we've talked about the trees budding out and the different, um, the different uh, bushes uh, budding and how, you know, they're not out of danger of a frost yet and, or a freeze. And so things are starting to come alive. The frogs are singing in the evening times. The, uh, some of the purple martin scouts are here. Uh, we're beginning to see signs of life with the elderberries and the different bushes, but we'll just have to wait. We know that spring is on the way and we have to be patient. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about poultry, uh, chickens and turkeys and all of the, the other homestead poultry animals that you can have. Now, we um, had a loss and so we're replacing all of our animals. And last year it was hard to replace. You couldn't find turkeys or we couldn't find turkeys anywhere. Um, and we just decided that we needed to take the time and shore up our uh, all of our buildings and find out where uh, some of our predators were being able to gain access to our uh, chickens and turkeys and quail uh, and ducks. And so, um, one, of course, we know that one was a dog attack. The others were not really sure. So we've got um, some systems into place now that will take care of some of that uh, pet uh, predator issue. And um, so we decided, uh, we sat down and we looked at our poultry uh, guides. We have different companies that we like to order from. And we compared prices and we compared the availability and we made our poultry orders. Um, we have uh, se several, I think we have five or six different breeds of, of chickens that we're bringing back into the farm. Uh, most of them are dark egg layers or colored egg layers, heavier breeds. Um, some of some of them are, are smaller smaller breed birds, um, and we got we have turkeys coming and we have ducks coming. Um, we bought, we got um, a duck breed that is a heavy laying uh, breed uh, to be able to provide duck duck eggs and to hatch out baby ducks. Um, we we um, had several ducks different breeds of ducks that we wanted to get, but the availability on them were just way, uh, way, way out. Um, I really like the Welsh Harlequins. They're good layers. They're beautiful birds. They're friendly, uh, very friendly, and um, thought that they would make a good uh, duck for for Howie to um, get accustomed to and learn, uh, uh, learn with. And um, But the availability for those uh, was low. In fact, the first available for those were in July, and you couldn't choose female ducks. Uh, they had to be, uh, in fact, I think it was just the male ducks that were going to for sure be available or that they thought would be available. And so we went with a different, uh, different breed of duck, and that was okay. Most poultry hatcheries have their birds uh, back in stock, but there is a, a been an increase in the people that are wanting to raise uh, chickens and ducks. Uh, some of it uh, to offset the cost of groceries, a, a meat cost at the store, and the cost of eggs. And so people are really interested in providing their own. And so a lot of hatcheries have sold out this first round on their birds and it'll be summertime on some of the availability on their other uh, on the chickens the heavy breed or the heavy breeds some of the heavy uh, laying chickens that dual purpose uh, dual purpose birds 
uh, meet nag birds. Some of them have sold out, not for the season, but for this first go around, and it'll be a little bit before they're back in in um, in stock. I read an article that interviewed one of the owners of Capo Hatchery, and that's one of the places that we get out, uh, some of our birds from, and they're out of Missouri. And um, it's not that they don't have the birds. They do have birds. It is that um, there's such a demand and they just don't have enough workers to get to, to get everything done. And so um, they're scrambling. They're all, all the different companies are scrambling to get the, the work done to get um, the birds out there for, for the consumer. Now, we know last year we were all affected by um, the avian flu that spread throughout the country, and not in people, but in the birds, and there were so many that were destroyed uh, to keep the spread from uh, being catastrophic. Um, I think the people that raised turkeys and chickens and had to destroy their flocks would say it was catastrophic to them. And that, along with the war in the Ukraine and uh, Russia and then the prices of feed globally and all of the different things work together to drive the prices up. Y'all know the prices of eggs have been high. Now, I'll say in my area the egg prices are starting to come down. In fact, um, I told y'all when we did uh, Cheyenne's Grocery Hall that we had attempted to buy the, the 60 count of eggs, the five dozen eggs, um, at our local Walmart, they had marked them down. We had paid up up to nineteen dollars, I think, for a box of those eggs, and the price had dropped down to nine uh, nine dollars and some change, which would made them about a dollar eighty two a dozen, um, which was about the cheapest that we've had them in a long, long time. My mistake was that we actually went to a different Walmart that's um, the opposite direction. Um, the The Walmart that had the price was about 30 minutes away from us one way and the other Walmart that we did go to was 30 minutes the other way and they didn't have the same price. Their egg price was almost $16. They didn't honor the price of the store um, that had them for, not, for a little over nine. And so, of course, we didn't buy the eggs. We'll just get them when the next time that we're at the store that has them at the lower price. But egg prices are beginning to come down some. Now, I will say... Um, we ordered our birds, and um, the, it was the breeds of birds that made ours a little bit higher because we went with um, some colored egg layers like um, some cream leg bars and some olive eggers and different ones like that. And, uh, but the um, prices are up a little, and demand you know, for birds is something that helps drive the price, and all of the other things that I just mentioned drives the price some. There is a minimum and a maximum on birds that you can buy. Um, you can't go on the site and just order one or two bird uh, chicks. You have to order a minimum. And each company is just a little bit different. And you have to, um, there actually some of them are limiting how many of a particular bird that you can have as well. And some of the, the heavier breeds are already gone for now. But if you'll be patient, they'll be back in stock and you'll be able to get them. Now, it is going to take a little bit of time to rebuild all of the, um, the flocks that were lost. Uh, it was a little bit easier this year to find turkeys. Last year, we were not able to get turkeys at all, but we were able to find the ones that we wanted for this year. We were able to find those and get those on order. We have had a little bit of trouble, and so far we have not been able to find quail, at least from the hatcheries. And so that's something that we're still working on. We got everything else ordered. Remember, I told you a while ago that I had wanted the Welsh Harlequins, and uh, we placed our order. The Welsh, the Welsh Harlequins weren't available at that time. So we went with another breed of, of duck. And, um, you know, the big snows and all of this stuff happened up north. And I got this message saying that, um, that because some of those people had bird orders going out to them or were supposed to be shipped to them that um and they got these big snows and the, those blizzards that some of the bird orders were going to have to be moved around they and then they didn't say anything else 
But today we got notice that the Welsh Harlequins are back uh, available. And um, so now we have to make a decision on, on whether we get those or not. We probably won't because we've already ordered a different kind of bird. And so I'll just have to wait a little bit longer to get Welsh Harlequins back in. I'll survive. I'll be fine. Um, uh, and we, I'll know that I will enjoy the ducks that's on their way. I love ducks. So um, uh, no matter what we get, I'll be excited for that. Blade and Cheyenne had to run an errand the other day. And on uh, while they went, what, while they were out and about, they stopped at Tractor Supply. And um, Cheyenne paid extra attention to what they had there because it's chick days there um, at Tractor Supply. Uh, we normally get our big supply of birds from hatcheries from, place, uh, from other places, but occasionally when we're in there and they have something that um, we can't resist, we'll bring it home with us. But, but it's chick days, and so she was excited to just see what they had. And um, she, I, she never even told me what kind of birds they had, but they had a few little ones in there. But she did say... Uh, and this is our local tractor supply. I don't know if every tractor supply is this way, but our particular tractor supply had a, a little placard, a little sign up that said a minimum, I mean a maximum of four chicks and one duck was all that they were allowing people to get. And it was because of availability. And it could be just because chick days are starting and it'll increase as the availability gets better. Um, and the other thing was, it said that if you're there when the birds are getting de delivered, they're receiving delivery of birds, um, you can't purchase them for three hours after they've been at the store. And I suppose that's to make sure that the birds are, are uh, good to go, healthy, and, and you know, spry, and, and they just check them out and make sure before they let you take them out of the store that they're, that they're good to go. So just know that, um, you know, there's limits out there on what you're being allowed to buy right now. And I would suggest to you that if you're having trouble with the hatcheries, uh, because just because of availability, that you might check around locally. Check your uh, farmer's markets. I know here we have the, our farmer's market, they're not open yet, but they have the, uh, uh, they ha they're online on Facebook and they keep in contact that way. And there are people that are advertising through there that they have, uh, have the, uh, animals available, birds available. Um, mm -hmm. There are uh, ways to find out around you who's, who is um, supplying uh, little, uh, little chicks. And, um, and you'd be surprised, you might be able to find a for instance, we're having a hard time finding quail from the hatchery, so we uh, we'll probably try to depend on a local supplier if we can. And um, you know, you can always check them out, and make sure that they're reputable before you bring um, animals onto your homestead, and just make sure that you, if you already have birds, that you quarantine the new birds before you introduce them to your flock. Make sure that they're healthy. Make sure that you're not introducing some kind of sickness, some kind of disease into your flock. So if you'll just, you know, check it, check around locally, uh, you might be surprised at the dip, at the different types of poultry. I know that I've seen ducks and quail and chickens for sure. Turkeys not as much, but like I said, the turkeys were hard last year to find, and I think people are rebuilding on their turkeys. But being able to find those, being able to find eggs. Um, you know, different people around us have uh, hatching eggs or fertile eggs anyways. And we, I have a, a big um, incubator so we can, uh, when our birds begin to lay and we know that they're fertile, we'll be able to hatch out new ones and be able to continue on uh, going forward. I pray for all of us that the feed prices and everything will come down. Now we free range our, our poultry uh, within a boundary. And um, I don't have to spend a whole lot on feed most of the year. I do feed some, uh, and but, but we're fortunate that way. And so uh, I hope that everybody has a good year with their poultry, that you're able to find 
um, the animals that you want to provide for your farm, ducks, chickens, turkeys. I know a lot of people, Easter is coming up, and a lot of people are tempted to buy ducks for their children, and, and they're not in any way able to, um, to really take care of those ducks beyond just having them for Easter. Little chickens, too, but, but most especially ducks and rabbits. Um, and watch for those people, too, because if they're just getting it for an Easter surprise for their little children, you'll be surprised at what you might be able to pick up at a fairly decent price um, when they find out they don't really want to be raising some full-size ducks and rabbits. Okay, guys, until next time, I hope I gave you a little bit of advice and some encouragement and some tips um, for your poultry pro <laughs> for your poultry purchases this year. Until next time, this is Josie. I love you guys. I really do. Keep looking well to the ways of your household. Spring is on the way, and I'm looking forward to it. I know you guys are too. Until next time, guys, we're gone.